All right, we have, give me a second, this is blurry. There we go. X squared minus 2,000X plus 38,450. A company that produces cell phones has a cost function that I just read to you where C is the cost in dollars and X is the number of cell phones produced in thousands. Notice that it is in thousands. Okay. So how many units of cell phones minimizes this cost function? So you see the word minimize. That tells you increasing, decreasing, maxes, and mins. So we're looking for a first derivative. So I have a 2x minus 2,000, and we're going to set that equal to 0. We're going to add 2,000 to both sides. So we get 2x equals 2,000. Divide both sides by 2, and x equals 1,000. So what we have is a critical number at 1,000. So we're going to grab a test point to the left and a test point to the right. So a test point to the left is going to be 0. So 0 minus 2,000 is negative. A test point to the right would be 2,000. So that would be 4,000 minus 2,000 is positive. So we have a minimum of 1,000 cell phones that will minimize this cost function. But remember, you're measuring in thousands. So you need to tack on an additional three zeros. So we are the number of units of cell phones that will minimize this cost function is 1 million. Okay, big time floats. Makes and sells floats shaped like mythical beasts. And their weekly cost function is given by C equals 3,400. Plus 12x. Plus 0.9x squared, where C is the cost in U.S. dollars when X floats are made each week. How many floats must be made in order each week in order to minimize the average cost per float? So anytime we see the word average, we're going to divide by X. So divide everything by X. That gives me C equals 3,400 over X plus 12X over X plus 0.9x squared over x. So my cost function is going to be, I'm going to put this in descending order, so I'm going to put this first, 0.9x plus 12 plus 3400x to the negative 1. So I want to um, set this equal to zero and solve after I take a derivative. So we haven't taken a derivative yet. So my derivative for my average cost function is going to be 0.9 plus zero. And then I've got a negative 3400x to the negative two, and that's going to equal zero. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this just so it's a little bit easier for my brain to handle. So I've got minus 3400 over x squared is zero. So we're going to add this term over to the other side. So we have 0 0.9 equals 3400 over x squared, and now I can cross multiply. So I'm going to cross multiply 0.9x squared is 3400 divide both sides by 0 0.9. So x squared is 3400 divided by 0 0.9 
is three seven 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 seven. It's a lot of sevens. Okay, take a square root and you get x is, so we're going to raise that to the one half power and we get 61, 46, 36. Twenty nine seventy two. Oops, sorry, that's supposed to be a plus minus. Okay, so we want to minimize the average cost per float. So I'm going to let you figure out this one. We've got a negative sixty one. Well, that's kind of ridiculous because we can't have a negative number of floats per week. So we're going to use a positive. Sixty one. Point forty six. And then you just need to get your test points on either side and decide if this is a max or a min. And you want to round your answers to three decimal places. All right, last one in this section, this extremely long section. A company has a price demand function by of P of X equals 50 e to the negative 0 0.008 X dollars per item when X items are sold. Determine how many items the company must sell in order to maximize revenue. So this is a price demand function. Revenue is X times P of X. So that means our revenue function is X times 50 times E to the negative 0 0.008 X. So I'm going to just rewrite this a little bit. So I have 50 X E to the negative 0 0.008 X. Okay. So that's my revenue function. Now I need to maximize my revenue. So that means I need to take a first derivative. So the first derivative of my revenue is going to be the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So remember that the derivative of E is you write what's sitting there times the derivative of your exponent. Okay. So 50 times negative 0 0.008 is negative 0.4. Okay, so I see that both of these terms have an e to the that matches. So I'm going to factor out an e to the 0 0.008x. And that's going to leave me with point, negative 0.4x point plus 50 is 0. So take each factor this is impossible to make equal to 0. Okay. And then I've got negative 0.4x plus 50 is 0. So I'm going to subtract 50 and then divide both sides by negative 0.4. So 50 divided by 0.4 is going to be 125.
Okay, so we want to find where we're maximizing revenue. So you've got one critical number at 125. And you want to put your test points into the first derivative to determine if that's increasing or decreasing. Okay. And that is it for Module 7.